we were about to uh, mark the 10th anniversary uh, of what happened on 9-11. Uh, and uh, like I, I guess millions of others, uh, the memory of that day is seared into my insides and my heart and my mind. And, uh, you know, I can almost remember every moment uh, at that time. I, I actually was in Washington. Uh, I was in Washington uh, up on Capitol Hill, and I was uh, briefing a group of uh, members of Congress uh, on uh, some oceans issues because I was uh, chairman of an oceans commission, and we were briefing the members on uh, the studies that we had done when a fellow member on the commission uh, leaned over to me and said, I've just gotten word from my New York office that the uh, trade towers have been struck by terrorists, have been attacked by terrorists. And, you know, I, I didn't have any television around, but, uh, you know, she said, you know, that this, this had happened. So I shared that news with the members of Congress that an attack had taken place. Uh, and uh, I think there was just kind of a consensus of the moment that said we'd better all get out of there. And we did. Uh, they left. Uh, I left. I got into a car. And I was driving away from the Capitol uh, when I heard that the Pentagon had been struck. And of course, like, you know, like thousands of others, I got stuck in Washington. I couldn't uh, find a flight out. I ma managed to stay with a friend. Uh, and I eventually got a chance to get a Hertz rent a car. I jumped in that car because I wanted to get home to California, drove across country. I think it probably in record time, about two and a half days, uh, just shooting straight across. But it was an amazing experience because that trip back home, California, as I was going through the Midwest and, and the country, you could see America coming together, unifying, as a result of that attack. There were signs on holiday inns that said, God bless America. There were people that had flags out. Uh, it was obvious that America was really beginning to unify uh, as a result of that horrible attack. And it was in many ways, for me, it was really encouraging that you could see the great strength of this country, the great spirit of this country, responding to the worst terrorist attack we've ever had in our history. Uh, and America, just like we did on Pearl Harbor, came together and said, we're not gonna let that happen again. 